Alright guys, this is Sensational Gaming coming back to you with uh, another episode of Naruto Shibun Naruto Ninja Storm 4 vs 3. Okay guys, so last time we fought the masked man. We found out that he was a tough opponent and I was so really bad at this game. Okay, so this time I got, I've gotten a bit better at this game, a bit better at commentating and a bit better at, um, you know, just overall gameplay. So let's get down. Right now we have Sarutobi in the background fighting the QB or the Nine-Tailed Fox. And it doesn't look like I'm struggling that much, but it gets there eventually. So let's get down, guys. So basically, for to fight the Nine-Tailed Fox, a couple of tips are to keep yourself mobile. Just keep moving around so you can avoid those hyper voices and his like sweeping arms. And what if you ever get hit by a Tailed Beast Bomb? Don't worry, you're not screwed completely. Like, look, in this clip, I kind of get ruined like a couple, like, 50 times. <laughs> so, see? Yeah. So, keeping yourself moving is kind of the best thing to do in a situation like this. Because sometimes he moves back and he starts throwing, like, chunks of, like, flaming houses at you. Yep, this guy is a sick villain. So, basically, um, the whole point of your game is to, of this fight, at least. Is to keep yourself moving, try and attack him when he's when you're right in front of him, like get to the highlighted spots as quickly as possible and get at least three hits on him. Don't waste your time if you're not gonna hit him. Just move out of the way. Uh, it took me a long time to find out about that. So basically sometimes you just gotta get uh, give up and calm your reinforce reinforcements. So you press L1 to calm your reinforcements and there are also uh, some extra uh, reinforcements that are like main characters. So basically here we get Choza, Choji's uh, father. If you, you call him in and then basically it's to put in a certain combination of uh, buttons and basically he pulls out a move that will injure the nine tails severely. So basically all that I've learned from this game so far is that it takes a lot of practice and well it has some really nice graphics so I'm just gonna shut up for a little bit and let you guys enjoy the gameplay
holding out as expected. And yet... The Hidden Leaf Village will not lose. All right, so basically our fight with the the Nine Tails just ended and Sarutobi supposedly won. So what's happening here? Minato's putting the mass man under contract seal and he's taking away his power with Nine Tails. So basically, as we can see now, we're going to see a secret factor. You can see that Minato wants to protect his wife and his son. Um. It's a no-brainer, I guess you kind of know that his son is Naruto. So basically, now we get back into our fight with the masked man, because we didn't kind, of, we didn't fully finish him off last time. This time, we're getting, having a bit more trouble with him, because he's kind of fighting for his last will, because he lost power of Nine Tails. As we can see, he has fairly weakened Minato, and we're getting down to the last bit of the fight, because I'm almost going to kill him. Because let's say I have probably gotten a much better at this game. So, as you can see, the best way to beat the Masked Man quickly, too, is to use your um, Super Nujitsu. So, basically, you can hit him up with a few combo attacks. So, we just got a 10 hit right there. You can hit him up with a few combo attacks and then finish him off with uh, Rasengan. Rasengan is basically Minato's signature move in at least this fight and we can use him to cause a fair amount of damage to the masked man. So basically, don't feel afraid to use your substitution technique, because yes, you do only have five at a time, but they regenerate very quickly, and they're an easy way to gain the upper hand on your opponent. See, basically, you can use it. We have just defeated the masked man, and we're just gonna find out something a bit eerie. So let's listen in. Inflicting injury upon me and separating me from the Nine Tails. But he will be mine for good one day. I shall rule this world. There are plenty of ways to go about it. So the masked man has now disappeared, and Minato has won the battle. So basically, I guess this is the end of the mission, and we get back our we get all of our uh, all of our achievements. Sorry for the mumbling. I believe I could have done better, but due to the fact that I was really bad last time, I guess I fell behind this time. So nine tails attacks B overall, and we get a few accolades, new characters for the versus mode of the tree battle. And that's about it. One thing I do like a lot about this uh, video game is that there are a lot of cutscenes. Most of the show, most of the game is cutscenes, but it gives you a unique uh, understanding of the story. Basically, we see that Sarutobi is now trying to finish off the Nine Tails. He's trying to get over with it and finally end it. But they are gonna, they are losing there a uh, hold on him. He, we can see that he's starting to launch his tail beast bomb. But out of nowhere comes our yellow flash, Minato, to save the day. And I'll let you guys watch the rest of it for yourselves and we'll see what that what'll happen. Ordered the Nine Tails with you? Over there! Never hesitated, despite the approaching threat. Are you okay? 
okay. He fought to the end to protect what was precious to him. Somehow I managed to get this far. But I don't have much chakra left. done with the first chapter of Naruto Shibuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, Full Burst. is replaced by the future. That name will remain as solid as rock, leaving its traces in the new age. A name is once more inherited in this world of chaos. That's what a hero is. A new wind carved into history. Its name is 